Okay, this is a HTML part two. Um, once again, by having my web page here, I'm going to open this with Notepad, and you can see how basic it is. I'm, I'm going to leave this here for demonstration purposes. The other thing I want to do is I'm going to edit this. I'm going to open it with Microsoft Front Page. Okay, now Microsoft Front Page is the Office version of a web editor, which is, I guess, similar to um, Microsoft Word. Okay, now you'll see that it shows up here as it would if I was to open it in a web page. But if I go back into my code view down here at the bottom, you'll see that it's very similar to what it was on the other page. Now, the problem is with Microsoft front page, once you start playing around with things, it'll add on its own stuff. Um, so for example, I'm going to go back to design and I'm going to say, okay, I don't want this to be centered anymore. I'm going to click on it and then usually you have these buttons up here that I want to left it. <laughs> left, left align it. Um, I can select something here and I want to maybe make the font bigger. Um, or I can do control B to make it bold. I mean, it's real simple. Um, I can delete it, you know, it works just like Microsoft Word. Okay, now if I go back down to my code view, right now it still looks pretty good. You'll see that there are things that are a little bit different, um, but I'm going to go ahead and save it. Okay, so now it's all saved. And when I go and preview, now right now if I click on stuff, that you know, I can resize the picture. Um, I can go into my preview mode and I don't have the option to resize anything or to change anything, but you'll see this is actually moving. This is actually previewing the site, and the asterisk says that this is not saved yet. So I can just click on Save, and it'll save. So I'm going to go back to my code view, and if I go into design mode, you'll see that it's my picture. Code view is the text, or the HTML, I'm sorry, and split view will show me both. So sometimes programs like this are a lot nicer to work with. The other thing that's kind of cool is if I was to say go down and I want to add a new section here, like um, I'll do, come on, uh, you see as soon as I do the start of a tag, it comes up and says, oh, what's he going to do? So if I start to put in something like a line or P, Align, so I forgot to do it, so you can, it's coming up automatically for me. So I align, and then it wants to know what kind of align. Okay, so you can just kind of write or whatever. So anyway, it'll kind of do these things for you. So if I do bracket center and in bracket, it automatically puts in my in center for me. Sometimes that's good and sometimes it's annoying. But I'm going to go ahead and say um, welcome aboard and leave it like that. And I'm going to go back to design. You'll see that my welcome aboard's over there centered. Preview, it all looks fine. So I'm going to save this and close it just to see what it did. Now, if I was to open this in Internet Explorer, it opens just like it did in my page. Sometimes things get thrown in there. I'm not sure that it happened here, but you'll be surprised that things you will find in your code so, for example, if I go to front page, go to my code, looks good so far. Now, if I do new, you notice it automatically puts in some meta code in here and um, automatically puts in new page one as the title. You'll see a lot of things out on the internet called new page one. All right. But one of the cool things about this, and I'm going to go back to design mode, is the ability to add things like tables. Um, down here, there's actually a table layout option you have. Now, you have to be careful with these. These are um, multiple frames and stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and click on I'll just click one of those. And you can see that it's setting up its own table, um, but it put things down here. So I'm going to grab this and drag it down. Drag my welcome aboard thing down here and, you know, some of this stuff. You know, you kind of drag it anywhere. And I'll just go ahead and leave that. And if I was to preview this now, you'll see that you don't have those lines and that's because my table over here I never actually solidified my lines or, or made them have any weight so if I was to go over here and you know change it to width say 2 or you know whatever 
when I go out here to preview, whoops, maybe I didn't change my color. Um, color, you can change all kinds of stuff. In fact, if you right click and go to your table properties, you can actually tell how many rows and columns, the color of your borders, um, you can even change your background color of your table. And, you know, just get really creative. So, this will be kind of the basic um, web page HTML2. Um, but you can see now that I've added some tables and stuff, things have gotten a little bit more complicated. Really, it's, you know, align top. You know, this is, you know, table vertical align um, top, the width of the table. And um, so sometimes you start to lose the little control that you have. Uh, but it's a good program, and um, I will do a, a part three of this tutorial.